using the tunnels. Hidden graffiti signs marked secret routes. I kept hearing whispers around burned barrels of an underground society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. <laughs> Typical New York. Wake. dark presence. It was gone. The tunnel was open now. Before. I remembered now. It was always out there. Hunting me.
Somehow the victim's heart was the key. Cauldron Lake. Not Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The Dark Presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. Who's writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. Stepping into the murder site. I stepping into the murder site, I'd felt it hanging in the air. A meaning. The violent emotion of the act. Like a cloud of wrath, the dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something that soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. Regression to something you had managed to forget, marking you, taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. Station had changed. I was closer now. Parliament Tower, our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Hey, Alan. Thank God he picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the overlap? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. 
We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Set to go off when the door opens. Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! Alice. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. Part one, what was Alice working on? Then, Alan hit a block. I brought out a 
demeanor side of him. One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. And he was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do too sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? room and wrote a story, initiation, to project myself through the dark place to look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere, looped me back. I was writing this story, and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing. Let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. 
And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the dark presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the dark presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes. Fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when it, when night falls. But last time, it... this will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded, and that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. Look. I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like it's like it's like a half-forgotten dream. Mr. Wake. Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. So much of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them Scratch's followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double, Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. 
Scratching out my body of work. Scratches here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Okay, Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the Cult of the Tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer he despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels, from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there. But he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, dark substance. The same substance Nightgale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex. And the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality. A blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth. The real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. 
People were right to keep their children away from the trees. Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. Okay. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake, and the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Doesn't look right. Nah. Right. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? It's all on the page. The clicker. The cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. 
This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel.